Hello everyone and welcome back to Navis Know the Light. I am Captain Zelnick and today we are going to be talking about facing gunnery and the gunnery table. When you are desiring to shoot an enemy target, what really matters the most on multiple levels is your facing and your weapon systems. Now, many weapon systems disregard elements like facing or elements like intervening blast markers. We are mostly talking today about the gunnery table, which involves anything related to weapons batteries. So weapons such as the lightning arc, Eldar weapons batteries, Tau railgun batteries, Imperial weapons batteries, bombardment cannons, orc heavy guns, all of these things ultimately in some way use the gunnery table. Now, for Eldar weapons and Necron weapons, we don't really have to worry too much about facing because they always count the enemy as closing because they like to break the rules of the game. For everyone else, facing matters. So, if I am, in this regard, the Slaughter Class Cruiser, and I wish to shoot the Dominator, what matters, one, is what, how am I oriented towards the enemy? This will tell me what weapons I am permitted to fire. So if we look at the statistics of a slaughter, the enemy is to my left, which means I am applying my port weapon systems only. If I have a weapon system that fires in multiple arcs, like my prow, I am allowed to merge the firepower of my prow weapons and my port weapons, so long as it says left, front, right, or front, left, or front, right. So long as the facing is represented in the data sheet of the weapon, I may fire it and merge it with any weapon that it shares a facing to. So, then, when I determine what weapons are allowed to fire, in this case, my prow and my port weapons may fire, I then determine what I'm shooting at and their facing. So I'll be firing at this dominator. The dominator is moving directly towards me. They are cl that means, according to the gunnery table, they are closing. If the enemy is uh, going in the same direction as me, or for whatever reason, I am present in their side arc, which is represented here with this red. Now I can ex expand the, there. So long as I am in their side arc, which is a pretty broad sec section of space. So, as you can see, I will count as a beam. Now, the best way to identify if things are really, really, really close is to, again, draw a line from my ship to the enemy ship directly through its uh, center stem and see which arc the line goes through before it hits. Now, if at any situation you are in a position where the arc is right down the line, the shooter gets to decide which arc to fire upon, either it be, in this case, the front or the side. Now, this is pretty rare. Usually, it's very clear where you're shooting. But remember, if it's along the line, directly along the line, like get a laser and check it, you can decide, as the shooter, which arc to fire upon. Ideally, you'll be wanting to fire at an enemy that are closing or moving away, because the gunnery table is advantageous in those directions. Now, for use of the gunnery table, look at the gunnery table, we will have to observe exactly what it means to be closing a beam or uh, moving away. This is the gunnery table, and it is one of the hardest elements of the game to pick up. Most of the other rules of the game are, generally speaking, reasonably self-explanatory. The gunnery table is probably the crunchiest element of the rules. Now, a lot of people are very annoyed by this gunnery table because they view it as overcomplicated. I personally love it because it provides a certain level of acceptable realism to the game. And what do I mean by that? Well, Again, we're talking about incredible distances between these ships. Generally speaking, you're shooting from where the Earth is to where the Moon is in some cases. Accuracy is not a thing. Weapons batteries function on the premise of 
filling a certain area of space full of lead or explosives or lead with explosives or explosives with a little bit of lead in them and hoping that something hits which means one as your distance increases your accuracy decreases and two depending on the facing and where the enemy ship is going will determine how easy it is to shoot the thing if it is in fact moving alongside you or moving either going the same direction as you or going away from you, uh, going the opposite direction as you, it's harder to target than a stationary target that is moving towards you or moving away. Now, because the every effectively everybody in the game functions on the premise of shooting a giant shotgun into space, it means that not all of your bullets are going to hit. And in fact, at you, as you will see, the only time where you'll be able to actually hit with the same bullet you fired usually is at the very, very top of the weakest end of the table. No matter what, you will never be rolling the same number of dice, usually, in the, the firepower bar itself. This is just a reference for how much firepower that you're shooting at the enemy on your data card. And you will see that they have ship classes represented up here at the top for defenses which are usually uh space stations and the like though ships can count as defenses if something prevents them from turning you have capital ships which count, uh, constitute anything that is a cruiser or a battleship and escorts which are all escorts predictably escorts are going to be harder to shoot than capital ships and over here at the end you have ordnance Ordnance are teeny tiny little things like torpedoes, fighters, and bombers. But if you wish to shoot your giant anti-ship weapons at them, you have the option to. You just don't expect to hit very often. Now, how in the world does this work? Well, if you remember, we were talking about the facing of the ship, the type of ship, and how far away you are. Those are the elements that you need to know in order for you to shoot an enemy. So... A closing ship, so say our Dominator turns around, Whee! you'll never see a Dominator turn like that in the actual game. So, if I am firing my Slaughter Cruiser at this Dominator, it is closing. So, we look at the gunnery table here and we notice that we have facing, closing, moving away a beam, and special, and special only applies to defenses and ordnance. Because it doesn't matter what facing they're in, they're technically always counted as these things and it really is not relevant. In fence, it basically means it's easy to shoot, and ordnance is on the entire other side, where it's almost impossible to shoot. If the enemy is closing, you, go, you then reference over to the kind of ship that it is, capital ship or escort. It's a, I am shooting at a Dominator. A Dominator is definitely a capital ship, so it is a closing capital ship. And then I will move down the table... To, re the, to reference my originating firepower, in this case the Slaughter has a strength 14 weapons battery, I will then go down to the 14, and that will tell me how much dice I am going to be rolling against the enemy. Okay? Doing that again. Closing. Capital ship. I have a strength 14 weapons battery, as referenced here. I will be rolling 10 dice against the front armor of the Dominator. Okay? One more time. Closing. Capital ship. Strength 14 weapons battery. I will be rolling 10 dice. Now, if the Dominator were a beam, as in it were moving either straight ahead or going, ooh, <laughs> doing a 360 no scope, I mean, uh, going the opposite direction of me, again, measure, draw that line through the enemy base from the center of stem to center stem to determine which arc you're firing in. If the enemy is a beam, it would be in a beam, capital ship, strength 14. I would get five dice. Okay? Now remember, anything that is lance-oriented, like pulsar lances, shadow lances, ion cannons, particle whips, uh, these things do not use this table at all, and they always fire at their maximum strength unless you have braced for impact or undergone some kind of special maneuvering order. So, as you can see... When you get the hang of it and understand exactly what all of these mean, gunnery becomes very simple to understand. Now, there are certain modifiers that can shift you artificially to the left or to the right on this table. And there's a, you know, a small list of things that are related to it here on the actual, data, uh, on the actual reference card. Target is within 15 centimeters. So if 
I me make my measurement between these ships to determine range, and I'm within 15 centimeters. I will shift my gunnery, my final gunnery solution, one column to the left. So if it is an a beam capital ship, and I would normally get five dice, but I'm within 15 centimeters, I will shift over, and I will suddenly have seven dice, as if the ship were moving away instead of a beam. This basically represents me being close enough in order to assure that more of my giant shotgun blast actually hits. Now, there are also things that can harm your firepower. If you are outside of 30 centimeters, and that this applies to everybody unless there are special rules that say otherwise, if the target is more than 30 centimeters away, you shift it to the right. So if I were a beam and a beyond 30 centimeters and a beam capital ship with strength 14 weapons battery firing at it, but it's outside of 30, I go over to the, to the right. And now you can't ever go beyond th this bar here. So you will get no matter what, three shots. Also note that you can no long you cannot go beyond this bar here. You will always end at defenses if you are getting the ideal perfect shooting um, shooting orientation on your target. Now, blast markers also can shift you one column to the right. Now, recognize that this will stack with being a beyond 30 centimeters, but it will not only apply once for the blast markers or gas clouds. So if I'm shooting through blast markers and gas clouds, there is only ever one shift to the right. Okay? Now, there are other things that can affect gunnery modifiers. You could have upgrades. You could be like the Eldar, where everything counts as closing no matter what. You can have uh, specialized scenarios involving the sun, which can give you column shifts to the right or to the left. So it is imperative that you read the rules of your fleet and your scenario and the stellar phenomena to see what and how it affects the gunnery table when firing. Okay, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you all again soon.